Hey guys, welcome back to C++ Code Solutions. I'm Khomsaram Peculiar and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That is so you don't miss out on any new content that we upload. We'll be working on a very interesting problem today, an input and output file problem. And this is the problem for today. Three employees in a company are up for a special pay increase and you're given a file saying that name with the following data this data over here each input line consists of an employee's last name first name current salary and the present pay increase for example in the first input line the last name of the employee is Miller the first name is Andrew the current salary is 65,789.87 and pay increase is 5% Write a program that reads data from the specified file and stores the output in the file chapter 3, exercise 8 output.dat. For each employee, the data must be output in the following form first name, last name, updated salary. Format the output of the decimal numbers to two decimal places. A very interesting problem we have over here. So we'll start off with creating this file which we're supposed to read from. It's a txt file, so open up a notepad. Save it as the problem stated. opening up our IDE. Hash include IU stream, which is to allow us to input and output sequences of characters from the input device to the computer and also from the output to device. Because we are working a file problem, we'll need definitions to open the files. And C++ provides a header file called fstream, which is used for file input output. So we'll put it up right here, hash include fstream. We'll need to manipulate our data to two decimal places as the problem stated. As such, we'll define our iomanip header, hash include iomanip. And finally, we'll be reading string from our file. So we define hash include string because I stream excludes strings. If there's a header we may have not included, we can always come back to write it up here. We start off with the declarations. We'll declare our file stream for input and output. The fstream header file contains the definitions of two data types, if stream and off stream. The if stream is for input for the input file stream and the off stream is for the output file stream. The first statement declares the in file to be an input file stream variable and the second statement declares our out file to be an output file stream variable. The program must read current salary and the percentage pay increase. We'll declare both as double variables as seen on the data provided. The program also reads the last and the first name of the employees, which are string variables. And that's all of the declarations. Before we do any reading on the files, we open it using the provided functions by the fstream header. create and open the file we'll be outputting to and we'll save it on the desktop.
the program says we must save it as the dead file but i'll save it as txt because i don't have a program program to open up the dead files but you can always save it as whatever file that you need Now we can read our in file and we'll read in the format the data is stored the last name first name the current salary and the increase percentage before we output because we know we'll be outputting to two decimal places we'll manipulate our data in out file to format to search using functions from the imanip header and the function for this is the set precision with fixed we are using show point to force the floating point to a two when there's only one point after the decimal point this is done here so we don't have a dirty code by having it on every output line the program should output in format first name last name and the output at salary so we'll put that header on the output file as a string. Because we've not yet touched topic of loops, we'll read a line and already output it to the output file. Now output the data obtained, obtained from the data file as required. Placing spaces in between so we can read the data. The updated data is the increase by the percentage in the file, which mathematically is the current salary plus the increased money, which is the money multiplied by the percentage. And we'll read the next line on the file. it on the outputted file also I'll just copy that line and output since the variables now hold data from the second line and I'll do the same for the last read and output We're done and now let's close the files in file the close and out file the close Save it. Compile and run. And there, a file just popped on the desktop. Let's open it up and see our output. The file didn't read anything. Let's let's try specifying the file path of the input file also. Oh well yeah, I 
guess the program had not found the input file to read it. But let's put in tabs so we have a nicer output. output. Let's see the input file and check it out against this one. So we see we have a successful program. That's it for me today guys. Don't forget to send in your problems to this email address. Thanks a lot. See you on our next video. Remember to keep coding.